This non-binding resolution was based on a fundamental principle of the UN Charter. It is against international law for one member state to invade another. Ukraine and the EU wanted as many member states as possible to vote in favor of their draft and knew from recent history that anything more strongly worded would lose support. And the strategy paid off, with 141 of the 193 members of the UN General Assembly voting in favor, seven voting against and 32 abstaining. The message is clear. It doesn't matter what Russia tries and how it attempts to undermine international order and the coalition in support of Ukraine's territorial integrity, it fails. These 141 countries reiterated a clear demand to Russia, withdraw. Withdraw immediately, completely, and unconditionally from Ukraine's internationally recognized territory. As expected, several key non-aligned countries abstained, including China, South Africa, and India. They argued that a resolution that sought to contribute to a lasting peace in the region should focus on achieving a ceasefire, immediate peace talks, and addressing the geopolitical concerns that led to the conflict in the first place. Boosting or even enlarging military blocks will only undermine regional security and drive peace further away. The final settlement of the Ukraine crisis hinges on abandoning the Cold War mentality and giving direction to and respecting the reasonable security concerns of all countries. While we take note of the stated objectives of today's resolution, given its inherent limitations in reaching our desired goal of securing lasting peace, we are constrained to abstain. And even though several non-aligned countries like Nigeria and Indonesia did vote for the resolution, they registered their reservations, criticizing it for not promoting peace talks and conflict resolution. Ukraine, the EU and the US can once again say that a majority of nations at the UN General Assembly has voted against the Russian invasion. Even if finding unity on more punitive actions against Moscow has proved more elusive. Shia Al Jazeera, the United Nations.